Whoa, 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 man. Bowman, Bowman. It is Bowman time, fellas. So, uh, we got 2022 Bowman. Um, it's uh, hitting the shelves. Um, I've gone to a few Walmarts. I haven't seen too many blaster boxes, but I've seen a lot of fat packs kind of lingering. Um, I just got my uh, retail box because I ordered one off uh, Walmart. They went on sale for like, I think it was like, I think I got it for like 72 bucks. And uh, I only ordered one because I was like, that's not right. And dude, I wish I would have ordered like five of them, but I didn't. Um, so I, anyways, uh, I'm kind of, you know, uh, kind of kicking myself. But it's all good. Um, they're back, I think they went up to like 149 bucks or 160 bucks. I still might, might order another one, but, uh, with that said, guys, I'm Rex, man, if you guys are new here, I'm Rex, um, you know, I like to rip packs on my channel, uh, other than that, it's, you know, I just do freestyle rips, it's just me, you know, a homie with his phone, uh, nothing, no, no cool graphics, nothing like that, just chilling at home, solo, um, and ripping packs, man, so welcome, thanks for being here, please like, comment, subscribe, guys, if you guys are, are checking out this channel, I greatly appreciate it, um, if you guys have your own channel, comment in the comments, and, uh, man, if I ain't subscribed to your channel yet, I will subscribe, and I'll check you guys out, man, uh, but yeah, uh, let's get into it then, guys, uh, like I said, I'm Rex, back with more packs, freestyle rips here, we got 2022 Bowman Fat Packs, picked up a few today at another Walmart, um, ran into the guys that they like to search the packs and stuff, and, uh, you know, um, I like to fill them and stuff to see if I can feel like ridges or anomalies and kind of maybe look on the side to see, you know, if there's a relic or not or something like that. Uh, but, uh, these guys were actually like, like literally, I've seen them do it with tops and with the heritage packs. I mean, they're literally going through each card and I was like, man, you guys need to, you guys are going to scratch the shit out of these, out of the, the cards. And they're like, no, you just got to be careful. You got to know what you got, you know, you got to know what you're doing. I've been doing this for years, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, no, man, like the Chrome cards, you're going to scratch the shit out of them, dude. What if you got an auto and you fucking peel the sticker or whatever off, right? Anyways, they looked at me like, you know, they don't want to hear it, man. So I just kind of just was like, you know, maybe I'm tripping. But anyways, enough of that, man. I don't know. Uh, I guess I'm just ranting. But guys, uh, thanks for being here again. Uh, let's get into this rip. 2022 Bowman Fat Packs. I don't know if you guys checked out my last video. But man, I ripped three Fat Packs. And check this out. I pulled uh, Mackenzie out of 125 and Adley Rushman. These are so cool. I like those, man. Those are those are just beautiful. I know years from now, these are gonna be like the twenty eighteen um, uh, tops chrome uh, 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 refractors. Those were nice. Or I can't remember if it's twenty eighteen or twenty seventeen. But anyways, uh, man, they were just beautiful. I wish I would have bought more, just because of the refractors of that chrome year. So I think I'm gonna buy more of this Bowman. It's expensive, it is, but I'm going to buy as much as I can. I'm just going to, just I just can't go off like I usually do, you know. So, or just not rip as much as I usually do, I guess. But we got Edward Cabrera. Oh, sorry guys, I got something in my eye. Uh, ah. Let's see here, Edward Cabrera, we got Jose Abreu. So I remember when he was good. Everybody wanted his auto. Mookie Betts. Ha Seong Kim. And then we got Vladdy. Everybody's daddy right now, man. He's killing it. I knew he would. I mean, he's the son of a of an amazing ball player. Joe Adele. I, I got high expectations for this guy. I seen him play actually here at the B Stadium in Salt Lake. Five home runs. Five home runs, man. Yadi Molina. The last person I see do that in... Um, at the B Stadium here was Mike Trout. We got Jason Dominguez. Nice. Bowman in 3D. I hope this dude really pans out and really, you know, lives up to the hype. Jason Dominguez, the Martian, Bowman 3D. That's a good card. I like that one. So we'll put that in the 
in the sleever pile there. Um, let's see, guys. We got Maximo Acosta. Last year, I mean, people were trying to hype him up, but I don't know if they ever got far or not, or, or if he still is. So let's see, guys. Uh, Shailen Polanco. We got Trey Sweeney. Yankees first. Boom. Hey, that's PC right there. Yondick. Let's see. Yo Hendrick Binango. We got a we got warming burn a gel. So I guess he was named after a burn a gel or something. But yeah, it's like kind of a warming burn a gel. I've heard about it, but uh, I'm kidding, guys. It's warming burn a bell, not warming burn a gel. Man, I gotta get my mind out of the gutter. Brett Beatty. And then we got Luis Angel Acuna. I think that's Acuna's little bro, right? Or cousin or something like that. Dude, sweet. Playing for the Texas, huh? Then we got a backwards card. I don't know why. We got Rodolfo Nolasco. All right. We got Brady Allen. We got Jorge Viva. Vivas. So there you guys go. We got Horbit Lives. Vivas pronounced into English means lives. In case nobody knew. So we got BCP16 right here, guys. Anybody know who BCP16 is? Okay, hopefully it's somebody good. He was born 727 of 98, guys. He's a number 71 overall prospect. 511 San Andres. Drives the ball. Let's see here. What does it say here about him? Let's see. He throws right. 32nd overall. Round 1 in 2017. So, alright. Let's see here. Shared Worcester Steals lead and plays second in home run. Slugged. So, alright. Hey. Born in Caribbean Island, San Andreas, which is part of the nation of Colombia. Father Jerry Sr. was pro pitcher, moved to Miami at age five. All right, so he's got some he's got some skin in the game with the family there. Okay, guys, let's see who it is. Jeter Downs. So for the Boston Red Sox, I think that's it's probably not a bad one, huh? I mean, I don't know why it's backwards. Does anybody know why these are backwards or these variants or something like that? Variations? If you know, please, please let me know. Because I don't know. Is the number different? Let's see. It ends in 706. 706. So, I don't know, man. I do not know. But, whatever. Cool. Well, uh... I guess we'll put that over there in the pile. We got Sweeney. Is Acuna's brother good, guys? Does anybody know? Or Acuna who? Let's see if it says here. <laughs> so he was born in 2002. So he's a youngster. Prospect. Number 7 Rangers. Debut down east. Finished second. Organized steel. Runs and walks tied. Hit 326. Produces great offense. Pat Tech would... Were, uh, impact and size would suggest works deep into the counts and hangs in the two strikes. So he's pretty good, man. Excellent speed and acceleration plus arm. Let's see, home talents competing against famous older brother. Oh, that is bro. So he's gonna grind it. He's either gonna grind or he's gonna burn out. So you guys might want to look out for this guy here. I'm, I'm gonna sleeve it. Because, man, anytime you get a little bro trying to live up to his older bro that's a great player, he's going to, he's either going to do great things or, like I said, or he's going to burn out one of the two. So we will see, oh, uh, time, 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 only time shall tell or say, however you guys like it. Because I'm not a smart guy. Um, I try to be. 
but I'm not the smartest guy. Let's see here. So pack number two, guys, here. Again, please like, comment, subscribe, guys. Uh, I'll do a recap at the end. So if you guys want to fast forward, that's all good. Just remember to take two seconds and hit the thumbs up, thumbs down or something, or leave a comment. You know, smiley face, frowning face, whatever. Matt Frazier. Oh, that's the wrong, wrong, wrong. Uh, we got Matt Manning. Colton Welker. Jose Ramirez. Okay, there's Jose Ramirez. Albert Pujols. We got Jazz Chisholm Jr. We got Jorge Solo. Cool. We got Ketel Marte. Then we got a 3D of Colton Kowser. All right. Then we got, ooh, we got a Henry Davis, number 33. So, all right, that's cool. We got Malcolm Nunes. Ricardo Genovis. Austin Martin. I thought his name was being thrown out there at one time, wasn't it? And Henry Davis, too. So, we'll just put these in the front as sleevers. Braylon. Haraba, Marco Lu Luciano, heard his name right, we got Brendan Davis, and then we got, let's see here, I guess these are our Chrome Prospects, we got Matt Frazier, okay, so then we got Fran Adele, or Aldui, Elijah Tatis. All right, I think he's the younger brother, any of Tatis too. So I think we might have pulled both young brothers. Let's see here, and then Bobby Witt Jr. So he's getting a slow start, but he'll he'll pick it up, man. He know he knows what he's got to live up to. So let's see what it says about Elijah Tatis. Is he related to Big Bro, Fernando? Bats, throws, born in 01. All right, cool. Assigned Arizona Complex League. 2021 USD, first entered, hit column on 7-12. Went 5 for 6 on steals. That's good. And posted 14.4% walk rate. All right. 2019 Dominican Summer League skills. Bouncy defender at both middle infield positions. Surrounds grounders to prime himself for powerful throws. Repeats his line drive swing. Threat to run. Younger brother of Fernando Tatis Jr., who also began his pro career in the White Sox system. Has added strength to 155 pound frames and signing. Sweet. Another little bro that's going to that's gonna either, he's either going to do great things because he's going to work super hard to live up to big bro or surpass him or he's going to burn out same thing so okay we got marshall luciano all right cool so yeah guys if you guys see something that that, that uh that i'm not you know uh, knowledgeable of of that it's good please let me know please you know it's greatly appreciated it really is uh there you go and also if you guys got a channel uh, comment down below, leave me your channel, man, and I'll go subscribe to you guys and stuff like that, man. Support one another. Alright, guys, and thanks to those who support me, man, all the time, always, always commenting. You guys know who you are, you know, so I appreciate it. Thank you guys, man. You guys keep me going. O'Neal Cruz, Ronald Acuna Jr., we got Giancarlo... Uh, Stanton. Oh, and Neil Cruz is supposed to be good, huh? Nolan Arenado. Cody Bellinger. Joey Votto. Votto Loco Holmes. <laughs> Man, I remember the first time I heard that. Oh my gosh, dude. That was so funny. Now I use it. I stole that from him. The Hunt Continues. Check him out. That's his uh, channel. Um, go over there, subscribe, man. He, he does good. He knows what's going on. 
he's a professional. He's been doing it for like 52 years or something like that. So you guys will like his channel more than mine. His channel is a lot cooler. Uh, but all right, we'll save the, the, the middle, the good goods for the last. We got Henry Davis. All right, that's cool. We got Malcolm Nunes. Junior Sanchez. Alexander Vargas. A Yankee. That's a shortstop. We got Benjamin Bailey for the White Sox. All right. He's going to be playing over there with Luis Robert. Garrett Mitchell. Another backwards card guy. What's up with the backwards cards, man? If anybody knows, man, please let me know. Comment down below. Don't be shy. Uh, Errol Vera. We got Christian Roa. Cool. And then we got Ricardo Genovese. Okay. Let's see who our backwards card is. So our backwards card is, he was born in 02, so he's young, 25th overall, round one in 2021. Number two athletic prospect. All right, cool. Number 52 prospects in 2021 MLB draft. Cool. Brings high energy to park. Let's pitchers travel deep into zone, allowing quick hands to work. Some big time power, absolute run, astute runner. Throws with accuracy and carry. All right. We got up close here. Aiming to become 9,000 Oak High product to reach the show. Was 1.8 years younger than average Arizona Complex League player in 2021. All right, cool, man. So already he's, he's, uh, he's, he's making some some moves there. And it is Max Muncy. So I think I heard his name, right? Max Muncy. And it's a first. So Max Muncy, man. Again, anybody knows what's up with these backwards cards? Share it. Let me know. All right, guys. Looks like we got a greenie. And then we got Gavin Sheets. Rookie. Rookie of the year favorites. And then let's see here. Oh, we got a rookie. It's a Boston Red Sox. It's Jaron Duran, 21 of 99, guys. Boom, greeny. Sweet. Hey, Jaron Duran, we'll take that. Plays for the Red Sox. It's got to be good, right? If you play for the Red Sox or the Yankees, usually that means you're pretty good. Okay, so we got uh, Alexander Vegas because, or Vargas because he's a Yankees. We got Henry Davis. We got O'Neill Cruz. I can't remember if Vera was supposed to be one of the good ones or not. But anyways, all right, guys. Sweet. That's three fat packs right there. And, uh, bro, these fat packs on this first wave that we're getting out here in Utah are just, bro, I mean... Dude, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I really am. I know it's a little more expensive. I'm not digging the price. I really am not. But, uh, bro, the, you know, they're putting some good stuff in here. So, I think I'm going to get as much as I can. You know, like, uh, but I got I to gotta be smart about it because I, I, I tend to go off and I can't. This year, I think I'm. I think I'm going to try to buy like maybe 50, 50 blasters. Sit. Maybe open 10 or something like that. Keep the rest, fat packs, and everything else. Value packs are coming. So I'll probably, probably, I'll probably spend about 2500 bucks, $3,000 on Bowman. And then just sit on it, and that's it. But with that said, guys, man, uh, you know, if you guys see this stuff, please, please buy it up and let me know. And uh, I'll leave, I can Venmo you, whatever it is, man. Uh, but yeah, I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. No, don't buy it. I'll find my own. But uh, but man, uh, hope everybody's uh, enjoying Bowman. I was I was really not again like not not against it, but just not excited because the prices. But um, you know what? It is what it is. I guess. Um, I just feel bad for those that, you know, bro. Even at twenty bucks, you know, shit. Even buying a blaster box was, you know, one of those things where you, 
you know, at twenty dollars, you you didn't buy two, you bought one because they're twenty bucks. Now they're thirty something, and uh, you know, I I hope I hope that this stuff in a way sits on the shelves and kind of you know teaches just kind of I don't know I doubt it but it would be cool if it did just I, mean, I hate to be negative but man the prices bro if we keep buying it and it keeps getting gobbled up they're just gonna keep raising it raising it man these these Bowman mega boxes this year they're they're gonna be 60 bucks I already know they're gonna be 60 bucks guys 59.99 that's what they're gonna cost you know, uh, because we were willing to pay 50 bucks for the Tops Chrome update. So, they're going to be like, cool. You know what? They'll, they'll pay 60 bucks for the Bowman Megas. And uh, when we will. And it'll happen. So, but with that said, guys. Uh, man, you guys know what it is. I'm Rex. Um, I'm always coming back with more packs to rip, guys. So, please like, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon. And other than that, man. Um... I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man, and uh, shout outs to everybody out there that are ripping and, uh, you know, collecting and enjoying the hobby, but uh, with that said, guys, again, I'm Rex, I'll be back with some more packs on the next Freestyle Rip, till then, I'm out!